fugitive arms dealer Sanjay Bhandari has moved the High Court. We're talking about the developments in UK. He has moved the High Court after UK Home Secretary has signed on his extradition. His time to file the application ends today, so he's made that application. It will be interesting to see if the High Court at UK accepts this one. In case the High Court in UK rejects his application, Indian agencies will get much closer on getting him extradited to India to face the due process of law. Ashish Meheshi with us on the broadcast. Ashish, him moving this application at the High Court was the next plausible step. He's taken that. What is the procedure that lies ahead? So, you know, we all know that the Westminster Court basically decided that, yes, that this man needs to be extradited. And, the you know, the argument of the Indian agencies was basically accepted, especially, you know, there are two cases which are pending. One one relates to, uh, you know, the, the PMLA, which is basically the, the Enforcement Directorate case. And the second case basically, Bela, you know, is related to the Income Tax uh, Black Money Act case. So there are two cases pending against which the... the uh, the extradition request has been made in the United Kingdom. Now, here what we are learning is that since he lost the battle at the Westminster Court, he uh, and uh, you know the Home Secretary of the United Kingdom decided to sign on the documents for extradition. He had certain time to to apply, and today was basically the last date for him to apply in the UK High Court for uh, you know challenging the decision of the of the Westminster Court and also the the signing of the Home Secretary in the High Court. Now he's applied for it, so he's. Let's see if the High Court accepts it or not, because usually, you know, you, you require some sort of evidence to say that, you know, the decision taken by the Westminster Court is basically wrong. But in all likelihood, you know, this, this argument of, uh, of uh, Sanjay Bhandari is likely to fail and uh, Indian agencies are expecting to get him as soon as possible. So let's see if the High Court accepts his application or not. But in case it does not happen, then almost all doors get closed for him. All right. In case that application uh, does not uh, work at the High Court, almost all doors are closed for him. Ashish, could you also give us a context in which Sanjay Bhandari's extradition has been pursued by the Indian agencies in UK? It can be a long, challenging process. The Indian agencies have persisted through this. Why is this extradition important for us? So, you know, if you remember, there are two reasons. One, we obviously know that getting somebody from the United Kingdom is a big challenge and there is no doubt about it. So, if you're able to get somebody like Sanjay Bhandari, who's supposed to be politically, uh, you know, be close to the, the previous government, especially, uh, you know, he's, he's being connected with uh, Robert Wadra and say, various arms dealings. Yeah. So in case that happens, then obviously, you know, getting him to India and it, it will certainly be a boon in the arm of the of the Indian government and okay. especially the, the BJP uh, will, will, you know, go gaga in case they are able to get him. Sure. So certainly, you know, it's going to be a politically uh, important extradition. But uh, let's see how things move let's forward. Let's see how the procedure goes forward. Extradition yeah, can yeah. be a long uh, process. It can be a cumbersome process. Ashish Maheshri reporting all the details for us. We'll continue tracking this story here on CNN News 18 and much more on the other side of a very quick break. Stay tuned.